All right, guys, now we are, st we, are st we are still here with our RTX 3070 uh, Dual OC, you know, from Zotac, uh, Twin Edge OC, sorry. And basically, we did the undervolting guide, so if you haven't checked that one out, it's up here. But today we are focusing on, on overclocking. Now, this one doesn't save you any power, doesn't save you any heat, but gives you the absolute best performance. So now let's reset those settings from the undervolt. And now you want to basically get the power limit to the max, the temp limit to the max and hit apply, then set your fan speeds to something static like 70% or 75%, whatever you want, as long as it doesn't get annoying. At this point, we want to go up, you know, bit for bit uh, until it crashes. So now let's try with around 100 and it crashed. So now if it crashed, the program will close and just gotta hit, uh, you know, restart. Then you open the program again and then we lower our overclock. So if 110 megahertz didn't work, we can try with 75. So now let's go ahead and try with 75. You know, just gotta redo, um, you know, the fan and uh, etc. Et parts. So now let's just um, set the fan to 75% again. All right. And then now let's go with 75. Let's see if it's time it's stable then I can't write on this keyboard, all right. And it's going, so now we save it. Now at this point, we, we set a zero on the core clock and we, we try on the memory. So now on the memory, uh, it can do 800 for sure. On every 1370 out there, you can do 800 on the memory. And then we can go up by 100 at a time. So now we can go for 900 and it's still going. We can go for a thousand and we are still going. Let's try 1200, still going, 1300, still going. This card is very good memory, 1400. Boom, black screen, it crashed. So now you just wanna wait until it comes back and then you hit a reset. Okay, now we know that the max stable frequency is 1300 for the memory and 75 for the core clock. So now we can either test and see if this is it or do what I'm gonna do right now, all right? And that is, uh, we simply lower the core clock by 25 and we lower the memory by 200. And that's gonna be stable 100%. So in this case, we set five, uh, you know, 50 on the core clock and then we set uh, instead of 1300, 1100 on the memory. And that's gonna be stable. So now let's just go and do it. Okay, and this is gonna be it. This is our overclocked card. As you can see, it's going at around, uh, you know, 2050 uh, megahertz on the core, around, you know, 8100 on the memory and it's stable. Then of course you can test it, but you know, lowering it uh, by, by those percentages generally can give you a quick overclock, which is gonna be stable and you know, you're not gonna waste time. So yeah, this is it. Let me know what you think about it. See you in the next one guys, bye.